preparation for the implantation of testosterone pellet in men is fairly simple. So simple that a clinician can do the implantation on the patient by himself. What the, patient, what the clinician wants to have available for the patient is very simply an implantation set which includes a tray, a sterile tray, and then next to this is the trocar set. The trocar set has three individual, set, individual components to it which we'll identify later which are the trocar, the stylet, and the plunger. Having the 11 blade available as well as having the testosterone pellets on the table as to be determined on the amount that the, the physician wants to implant on the patient. Sterile gloves and a mask are mandatory. Gauze, tape, betadine, and a towel. So what we're looking for here is the fatty deposit that occurs in the area above the gluteus major, which is this area up here. Almost all guys carry some fat above the gluteus. We're not going to go into the gluteus muscle itself. So first off, what we do is you just sanitize the area for in preparation for the numbing medication, which we use a 1% Lido with or without epi. Uh, with this gentleman, we're going to be using it with epinephrine. Pick in the area knowing we're going to implant here in a caudal direction. We just put a small amount of lidocaine. I'm using one, mil one cc. Too often clinicians, I believe, use a little bit too much lidocaine, which is usually not required. We want to make sure we get a good skin, skin weld raising on the skin. Here it goes. And then we will be inserting the pellet in this direction. We're, not, we're going at an angle about, from about 30 degrees to 45 degrees from the base of the skin. And we're going to let that numb up for a few moments. We open the sterile container. With the sterile tray. And the trocar set. Then you take the testosterone pellets. You put them into the sterile tray. You take your 11 blade, put that in the sterile tray. Here, focus, come here. Then we take the fenestrated drape. Overlay it on the area that's already been prepped. Apply our face mask. Now we're ready to go and we're going to see how we can do this without any assistance needed from a medical assistant. Putting your gloves on. The key to the uh, a successful procedure is making sure the area is well, well anesthetized as well as speed. The studies show that the that people who have the most rapid in and out rate have the least amount of infection. So we're taking the 11 blade perpendicular to the skin, inserting it about a half of by a centimeter down and making an incision that's no more than a half a centimeter in length. We take the trocar we insert the stylet so that the bevels meet. We go perpendicular to the wound down until we pass the dermis area, then we angle it at a 35 degree, 30 to 45 degree angle, and with a slight improvement push of the trocar, which takes a just a little bit of pressure, it should slide right in. You then remove the stylet, take the pellets, Insert the pellets, one, two, and three into the slot. Take your plunger at the end, which is the flat end, push slightly up and they slide right in and pull your trocar out and the procedure is done.